A Hollywood star is ready to talk about the fault lines of addiction in his life. I've been through, I got sober uh, when I was younger, when I, uh, when I, in 2001, uh, which I now look at as a sort of a JV version of what really the problem is. God damn, we have to fucking fight the good fight, you hear me? Every goddamn day. The greatest American alive. He says he learned that sooner or later, your vulnerabilities can find you. I started to drink more and more and more, and it was really hard for me to accept that that meant I was an alcoholic. We need to talk. Yes, we do. Will we tell the truth? Yes, we will. Will we have a difficult conversation? Man, we have to. Project Daddy suffers from addiction. Every day is a battle. Alcoholism is a motherfucker. Yes, it is. But I think for like uh, maybe like two months now, I haven't bought a bottle of alcohol. You hear me? I haven't bought no bottles of alcohol. Before me saying no, before Project Daddy said no to this alcoholism shit, I was buying two half gallons every week. Was it gin? Was it vodka? Was it cognac? Maybe it was some rum. God damn it. If I was feeling me, if I wanted to get frisky, it was some tequila. Yes, it was called that shit Wheeler. The Gila monster get all excited right now. Mouth starts salivating because I'm only probably like 30. 40 days in on this journey, yes. It's not complete sobriety, it's not absolute sobriety, like sometimes I still indulge. Is it Saturday, is it Sunday, fun day, God damn it! but never on a motherfucking Monday. That's a weekday, that's a work day, yes it is. These are really hard conversations to have. Nobody wants to talk about their motherfucking demons and their things that they hide, their secrets, yes, nigga. But tell the truth and get some motherfucking power, yes we will. Will we get some power, yes we will. Project Daddy has an addictive personality. Yes, he does. It motherfucking happens. And so as I fight my addiction battles, right, I try to get out there and battle depression and uh, 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 alcoholism, ride my bicycle. Yes, he does. And just so happened, I wasn't planning on going off road and I just wanted to do a little 30 minute brisk ride and come right on back, right? But I was on a path that I wanted to go and see this new trail and all of a sudden the trail ends, but I see a bridge over yonder. Yes, there's a bridge over there that I can see. So I say, man, if I just make it through this little bit of mud, I'll get to the bridge and it's gonna be smooth sailing, yes? Project Daddy gets to the fucking bridge and guess what, the bridge ain't complete and I've already been walking through mud and now my bike is covered in mud, yes, so I crossed this bridge anyway, man. Project Daddy has to go motherfucking off-road freestyle climbing across the damn bridge because the bridge ain't complete yet. It's kind of dangerous, but Project Daddy laughs in the face of danger. Yes, he does. Get to the end of the bridge and I look to see, man, uh, where's the rest of the trail? There ain't no goddamn trail. All there is is motherfucking mud. Damn. Look back and say, uh, should I turn around? Hell no, came too far, kept on trudging through the goddamn mud, mud as far as the eye can see. What's the point? Have you ever been stuck in the mud? Battling addiction can seem like a journey that does not end. It just keeps on going. And like when things get really hard, right, because I'm a dad who misses his children, sometimes I see them, most of the time I don't. And so to, to deal with that pain of missing the thing that you created, that love that you have in your heart for your own creation, your children, yes. How the fuck can you make that sound inside your head fucking quiet? I don't know. Alcohol was a goddamn su uh, a substance that I used to try to quiet that sound, but it didn't work so good. Started to get a pop belly. Ugh, can we tell the truth? Yes, we will. Can we have an honest conversation? Man, we have to, right? And so Project Day was walking past the mirror, looked in the mirror and saw this motherfucking big ass pop belly. Yes. Ooh, it did not look good. Project Day said, we got to change this. Tell the truth and get some power. Looked in the mirror. Project Day looked in the mirror, square in his eyes. And was like, damn, nigga, you five foot eight, 235. Nigga, you fat, Project Daddy. You need to do something about this shit. And I was like, man, I tried to change my diet. I tried to eat more better, but I kept on fucking drinking. And at some point, Project Daddy said, this shit has to stop. This shit has to motherfucking stop. Can we talk? I mean, we need to talk. We need to have honest conversations. But even though I battle addiction every fucking day, it feels like I'm trudging the goddamn mud, yes? And so as I'm out there on my excursion, remember Project Daddy's out there trying to fucking ride his bicycle to battle depression and anxiety and alcoholism? Yes, he was. And then all of a sudden, Project Daddy finds himself stuck in the damn mud. And so what do I do? 
I just keep on trudging along, trudging along, trudging along. And guess what I come to find? Project Daddy comes to find this about two miles worth of mud. Yes. At the end of the mud, I come to find, I look on my GPS on my phone and damn, I'm seven miles away from my target destination. Oh my goodness, Project Daddy just wanted to go seven miles now and doubled my trip and I'm covered in mud. I'm talking about from head to toe because I had to carry my bike on my shoulders like, oh, oh, yo. you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a goddamn bike trekking motherfucker on this day it was a sunday but when it was all said and done i did it you hear me i had battled depression i had beat alcoholism i did not have a drink i was sweaty from head to toe with mud all over me god damn we have to fucking fight the good fight you hear me every goddamn day and so when i ask you what's the hardest thing that you've ever done you know goddamn fight the good fight win that war you can do it because you're the greatest american alive the greatest American alive. Because of what you contribute to the society, right? And so you deserve to be unreasonably happy. You, the greatest American alive, deserve to be unreasonably happy. Yes, you do. And can you be unreasonably happy? Yes, you can. How you define happiness, huh? I define happiness by goddamn winning the hard fights, you hear me? I define happiness by doing hard shit. Motherfucking riding that bike through the motherfucking mud was difficult as shit goddamn sometimes those pedals wouldn't spin and when the pedals wouldn't spin i had to carry that bitch and after i got done carrying that motherfucker i was like i did it project daddy motherfucking did it and for you whatever it is that you're battling whatever the mud is if you're stuck in the motherfucking mud i just want to tell you man can we talk you can get through it you hear me i know it's hard as fuck most people they don't they wait till they get to the top and they said, I did it, goddamn, I'm in the middle of the motherfucking mud right now, huh? And if you want to get through it, motherfucking, we can get through it together, you hear me? Let's have a talk. Can we talk? Can we tell the truth? Yes, we will. Vitamins and minerals inside that cup. Yes, it is. Life aid, given to me by a good-ass friend. They said, hell, you still need to partake in a stiff drink. And that drink has magnesium and shit, has a little buzz to it, a little fizzy fizzy. But it's water, life water. And I hope that you can motherfucking get through whatever your situation is, battle whatever addiction. Cigarettes might stop eventually, perhaps. I don't motherfucking know. One thing at a time, one step at a time. You are the greatest American alive. One step at a time, you'll get through this shit. The greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.